we're going to do some stretches for our Start Smart T-Ball. Um, so you can follow along at home or just remember some of them and then when you go outside you can practice them. We're going to try to get our whole body warmed up. So usually we go up to the sky first, all the way up. And then we go down to our toes. Try to stretch down, keeping our legs straight. Trying to stretch down as far as possible. Hold that for a little bit and then we're going to go back up to the sky. This time we're going to stand on our tiptoes, trying to be as tall as we can, and then back down to our toes. You can tap your toes this time, hook your toes. Go back up, last one on our tiptoes, as high as we can, and then this time we're going to go down and we can act like an animal. We're going to crouch down. Sometimes we are frogs, sometimes we're um, hopping hippopotamuses, um, all sorts of things. So we're going to do 10 hops, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we shake our arms and legs out. We're going to get our arms moving. We're going to do big arm circles. Keeping your arms big. Big arm circles going forward. And then you can go big arm circles going back. Parents can do this as well. Now we're going to put our arms straight out to our sides and do little baby arm circles. Little baby arm circles forward. Little baby arm circles backwards. And then you can just wiggle or you can get your arms moving opposite. You can get them moving at the same time and be a bird. All right. Uh, let's do, we're going to try one that's a little bit hard. We're going to go over our back and pat our back and hold our elbow. So pat your back and hold your elbow. And then we're going to switch. Pat your back. Hold your elbow. Stretch out. All right, let's get our legs moving. We're just going to jog in place. Getting our arms and legs moving at the same time. All right, we're going to go fast. Go fast, go fast, go fast. And then slow down, but keep going. All right, we're gonna go fast again. Go fast, 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 fast. Arms and legs moving. And slow down. All right, shake your arms and legs up. Now we're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. When we do jumping jacks, our legs are gonna go out and our hands are gonna go up and then we'll go back to one, okay? So we're gonna go 10 of those. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. Usually we take a lap. Um, you can just run around your yard if you want to. We'll run around the park and then we'll get started on our drills. All right, we're gonna work on our throwing skills with Rachel. She's gonna get set up, making sure her feet are set. Uh, the ball is in her hand, whichever her dominant hand is. She can point at her target, and she's going to throw to her partner. Her partner is going to make sure her hands are ready, open, so that we can get the ball. We're going to just practice throwing. We can point to our target if we want to, making sure that our um, hand is going from back behind our ear, going forward, and following through. We're going to try to go ten times throwing to our partner before we switch. Making sure our feet are set, we're stepping forward with our front foot. Nice job, Rachel. All right, we're gonna work on our catching, and this one, we're gonna work on moving our body side to side to catch the ball. So the ball doesn't always come right to us. So sometimes we have to move up, sometimes we have to move back, sometimes we have to move side to side. So for this drill, parents are going to throw the ball side to side and we're going to move. Um, when we move, we kind of shuffle, make sure we get our glove down, get it into our glove, and then hand on top just like we always do, okay? It is a little hard um, when the grass is high, the ball doesn't go very far, so just be aware of that. All right, so we're ready for the ball. I'm going to move my body, get it into my glove, hand on top, move my body. Hand on top, into the glove, hand on top, into the glove, hand on top. All the way, and 
making sure that we're watching that ball go into our glove and then the hand on top. All right, practice that for a few minutes. All right, we moved in to do this drill because it was too windy outside, uh, but we blew up a couple of balloons and we're gonna practice hitting the balloons with our bat. We're still gonna focus on having our feet set, our hands set, um, our eyes on the balloon. Balloons are not stationary. They don't stay in one spot. Um, Gina's gonna throw them pretty high and I'm gonna follow it and watch the ball and then when I'm ready, I'm going to swing and hopefully hit my balloon. We're gonna watch the ball. <laughs> a little bit different, uh, but it should be fun for the kids as um, do, working on our hand-eye coordination, and it's always fun to play with balloons. agility drill today we're gonna practice tossing the ball to our kiddo and they might have to jump for the ball so when they do they can do kind of a spring jump with both feet uh, moving up and jumping uh, so they just kind of have to work on hand-eye coordination as the ball is coming to them and deciding if they need to jump or not so Rachel's gonna toss the ball sometimes they just have to move to the side and then sometimes they might have to jump in the air and catch the ball you can do this with a balloon. Uh, we're doing this with koosh balls and some foam balls. Making sure that we're watching the ball the entire time into our hands. You can do this about 10 times. Um, like I said, you can use a balloon. Uh, you can use any kind of ball um, that's a little bit different than a tee ball just to get a different um, practice in. All right, good job.